Should point out that the tornadoes that happened today in Colorado were land spout type tornadoes, much smaller, and much weaker mm -hmm. than the storms that we saw yesterday, the supercell type of uh, tornadoes that were in Colorado yesterday. Today, one of the big issues around the Denver area was with wind. High winds from today's storms caused damage at the Downtown Denver Arts Festival. Photojournalist Brian Willie had his camera rolling when the worst of it hit. Yeah, the paintings that went down, so you get all scratched up once, once your hardware and everything hits it. It doesn't do any justice for paintings. And there's an example of what we're dealing with out here. Wow. Talk about a gust of wind, right? Six booths were damaged. Artists lost thousands of dollars worth of artwork there in downtown Denver today. All right, let's take a look at live HD Doppler 9. Things much quieter here tonight. We do have a couple of showers in the foothills of Larimer County. That's about it here in Colorado. But as we look on out to the east, oh boy, skies are all lit up over Kansas and Nebraska tonight. Numerous showers and thunderstorms. There are several warnings throughout Kansas and Nebraska tonight. And there is a tornado watch that continues until 3 a.m. for most of central Kansas. And that watch actually extends into the portions of the panhandle of Nebraska and down into the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas. We also have a winter storm warning, believe it or not. This is for the southwest San Juan Mountains for the possibility of an additional four to eight inches of snow for all the areas shaded there in red. Places like Silverton could wake up tomorrow to a foot or more of snow. Hard to believe we are still dealing with winter storm warnings here going into the Memorial Day weekend. Time lapse up the Continental Divide today. There's proof that there was snow in the mountains today. Live on Elage Gardens as we look over toward the Ferris wheel. 74 degrees for a high temperature today after a morning low of 35. You can see the averages and records on your screen for comparison purposes. Temperature right now at DIA is 54 degrees. The pressure falling a little bit tonight. And the wind is coming out of the southwest at 10 miles per hour. But of course the gusts have been much stronger than that. 54 degrees here in the Nine Backyard. Some other locations for you now. In Fort Collins it's 55. 52 in nearby Windsor. It's 50 in Highlands Ranch and 34 degrees currently in Granby. We'll back the satellite and radar up to about 1230 this afternoon. It was shortly after that time that we started to see some thunderstorms turn severe in northern Colorado. And again, we did have four reports of land spout type of tornadoes, much smaller and much weaker than the tornadoes from yesterday. Tonight, still a lot of cloud cover in the mountains, but we're really clearing out quickly here along the I-25 corridor. Tomorrow, we should overall see a lot of sunshine, but there is still a very large storm system controlling the weather over the western half of the country, keeping things unstable and keeping things pretty chilly. Phoenix tomorrow, only 80. They were up near 100 degrees just a few days ago. 66 San Francisco, 74 here tomorrow, while Kansas City will be 80. 90 in Miami. Here's the cold front that moved through northeastern Colorado today, causing the severe weather. Threat for more severe weather tomorrow over in Kansas and Nebraska. Temperatures tonight, lower 40s for eastern Colorado, 30s for the mountains. Tomorrow, a quick rain or snow shower possible in the high country with highs in the 50s, 70s for eastern Colorado. Here's a look at your forecast for tonight. In the Denver area, we'll see partly cloudy skies. It will be breezy at times through the rest of tonight. 43 for a low. Tomorrow, expect a lot of sunshine through early afternoon, and then clouds will start to develop. There could be a late-day thunderstorm tomorrow, high 74. We can't rule out a quick thunderstorm late on Sunday or even late on Monday for Memorial Day, but most locations will remain dry. These are just going to be renegade-type thunderstorms. By Wednesday, temperatures will climb back up into the 80s. So overall, for the next several days, very seasonal for this time of year. Highs in the 70s with just small chances for late-day storms. I think the threat for severe weather will really move east of Colorado tomorrow and stay east of our state. All right. Yes. The Veterans Parade tomorrow morning in Denver, the uh, tribute at the, to veterans at the uh, Capitol. Pretty good looking weather for that? Sunny, dry, and, and mild. All right. So nice. we, we need a break. Yeah, Looks we like we're going to get one. All right. Ashton, thanks.